Hi guys, I still got some time to kill. I just built my own Arch Lex ISO, used Arch install to have XFCE, removed XFCE, installed Plasma with the scripts on Arch Nemesis. What if, right, I want to install more? So what are good combinations with Plasma, basically? Well, maybe I should also tell you what I've done after the video, because I've changed some things. <laughs> That's the first thing, right? And then we can figure out what to change. So we have new icons. I have um, changed the look. Icons, Surfing Plasma Dark is my choice meaning you get this kind of look and this but for applications not yet anything so no scripts for did not run the zero which is going to install well first of all remove Linux things but it's not here it's arch so nemesis things core which is the biggest one long list of all kind of applications that we say we might want to have that we like to have that look at the list here on the side here that's the long list of packages Lego blocks I like to have and so that's done that's what we've done in the before well in between videos right when on arch I am on arch I ran this one give me pacman configuration arch nemesis and Celtic which results in control T update doesn't work right we're on notch pseudo pacman minus syu for example and you see this so we got even the Arcanix repos are there even those are there because it's a copy paste of this thing plus more right because we need the keys and the mirrors from chaotic AOR the rest is not needed I installed also Paru, so it's the script install yay or Paru is just telling you and there you are install yay or Paru I selected number two so I'm gonna select number one now so I have both of them yay and Paru Paru needs rust this one needs go <laughs> you need to have it you have to need to have the, 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 the dependencies the back ends right this also takes a while to build. I feel the Peru takes a little bit longer to build. It's it's the way it is, right? If it's not pre-built, you need to build it yourself and it takes a while. And this is faster than Peru. That's clear. The debug is still there. So I have now also an application of debug. We have something called, we call this remo remove debug, which is not there, right? It's on Arconix, it's on uh, after you run the Arcanix Nemesis scripts, you have it again. Uh, yeah, so these things are not there. Anyway, Paru, boom, right? And yay, boom, it's there. So that's what we've done in, um, in between the videos. And the question is, which one will I use now to combine with plasma um, there are several things I can do I can use these guys and run these guys I can also since I have yay and paru also say why don't I get the arch Linux tweak tool in because yes it seems to point to the right direction I was quick so two options now right I can get it from the AOR I can get it from the nemesis repo which is the recent one and if you see the Arcanix repos won't change a bit right so it's good to get some stuff in so say I, I'd, I'd like to have Xmonad in or Herbsluft or something like that right and then it's on your machine you put it safely away and keep working with it 
The thing is, I'd like to test number four. Like I said, they changed the URL, so it's not pointing to ArcNix anymore. It's pointing to my personal GitHub. Let's see if that was the case. I thought it was. Let's see. Can't see it, huh? But we'll see it when we launch it. So ATT is still alive, but in a slim down version, right? That means, let's see if it's new. That's the new one. Awesome, BSP, WM, Budgie. Take a look. Awesome, BSP, Budgie. Check. Cinnamon, chat WM. Ah. It's different around, right? It should be turned around here. <laughs> no. <laughs> I3, left WM, Mate, Plasma, Qtile, XFC. So this, if you see a few videos back, this list and the content of this button, right, is the same as the content in here. Exactly the same. So a GUI or a script, but we made the scripts for a reason. What should I combine with Plasma? I would combine Awesome or not Ente or BSP or ChatWM that I've done already, of course, you know that. I3, left WM and Qtile. So basically what I'm pointing you to is tiling window managers. I remember those days when I was on Cinnamon and it took me a while before basically falling in love with tiling window managers because what it does is nothing more than this, right? It tiles. You have something, it opens like this. No, it will open like that. It will tile automatically. And I know at some point in time, it felt kind of broken that I had to drag everything to a corner, being on Cinnamon, being on XFC, being on anywhere, right? This at the top, for instance, it's just more handiwork, as I say. It's just more movement for my wrist, for my hand, for my mouse, for my uh, clicking and all that, right? It's less work being on the tiling window manager. At some point in time, I fell in love, basically. I say, okay, I'm good, right? And that's something you might consider. Try out one of these. Let's not try out chat WM since, right? I'm always on that one. Um, well, eight years back, I was actually struggling, but really, really love hate relation. I3, right? I was working on that one and oh, really kind of hated it. Went back in the code, learned again a bit of code because I did not have, have a i3 configuration. I had a default i3, right? I had to read the website of i3wm.org, learn, learn, like that was so much work, right? But now everything is made, right? everything is, is, it has been decided to get i3 and um, these are the Lego blocks. And if you run it again, that's interesting for me, if you run it again, everything is green, right? No issues. Everything is green. All good. And then that's is one of the possibilities, right? It's just uh, me personally kind of, uh, well, that's my history, right? I started with i3 as styling when I manager. But like I said, I was actually kind of hard. I would think BSPWM would be easier for beginners. i3. Because less config, that's the only reason, less lines. So you got yourself a beautiful wallpaper, right? You have a desktop, right mouse click, doesn't do anything. Super X, ah, oh, finally, we can log out, right? Ctrl Alt T does this, Super Enter does that, Super Shift Enter does that. Now wait for it, there he is. Pycam is rubbish in um virtual box so we kill it control alt o o kills the transparency and suddenly everything is really awesome and fast 
right? So wallpaper is variety or something else. Um, make sure you have something nice as a background. Um, super X, Super X, so we've done that. Super D, that's this one. And Super Shift D is that one. Always to launch. Kaka Fire is no longer there. <laughs> Firefox is not there, right? A application that is there. You launch it from here. And voila, Super X logout. Stay a bit in the Tiling Window Manager. Maybe, maybe you'll fall in love as well. But it took some time, right? It took some time. And you go back to Cinnamon, Mate, XFCE, voila, you do your thing. And then you hear my words in another video and say, oh yeah, I should, I should have a look at the Tiling Window Manager. Just pick one out and um, see if we can like it, the workflow that it provides. All right. Cheers.